Welcome to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint from Zero to Hero, Module 4.3 Onboarding via MEM or Microsoft Endpoint Manager. On this video, I want to show how you can prep the device groups and then how you can create the onboarding policy and assign to those device groups and then finally how you can check the results. Anyway, let's dive into it. Let's get started. I have a few notes here just to drive my demo. And the first one is I want to show a few devices already registered into my Intune and one of them is not yet onboarded on Defender for Endpoint. Anyway, let me quickly show how it works. If I go to my endpoint.microsoft.com, as you can see in here, I have three windows already registered, Windows 10, 24, and then 25 and 26. 24 and 25 are already onboarded on my Defender for Endpoint tenant, but the device 26 is not yet onboarded. Before I start building all the configuration I need to do the onboarding, it's very important for you to have a few groups to just to have a better control when doing the onboarding. To do that, you can do actually from this interface. If here on the left, you just click on groups, just click in there. Of course, you could go to the admin.microsoft.com, you could go to portal.azure.com and then from there launch the, the Azure uh, AD module. There are, you know, different ways. Anyway, I just want to take the opportunity here from the endpoint.microsoft.com. As you can see, I have a bunch of groups already. A few of them I created to support my uh, MDE onboarding. As you can see, Windows servers, as you can imagine, here is the, the group I'm adding all my servers 2012, 2016, and so on. And then I was testing before on my Windows 10 11, where this is the group I use to onboard my device 24 and 25. And then a brand new group I just created a few seconds ago called Windows 10 11 Ireland. And then what I did that, uh, what I did already to buy a bit of time, if I click in this group, I just want uh, quickly to check the group membership. If I click on members, and then I should be able to see my Windows 10 26, if I have a good memory. Yeah, as you can see, the devices here already. If I want to add additional devices into this group, I just need to click on add members. If I click in there, and then from here, now I have the option just to search whatever are my device uh, group names. If I start with uh, Windows, yeah, as you can see, I have, oops, yeah, it's coming. Yeah, and then as you can see, I have here uh, Windows 10, 24, 25, 26, you know, some other uh, devices starting with Windows. But at the moment, because I just want to, to onboard my Windows 10, 26, I'm, I'm, I will take, you know, from there. Of course, if you don't have any group yet created, to create a new group is very simple enough, I would say. Just hit the button on new groups click in there and now you need to provide a few information in here. The first you can decide if you want to set this group as security or Microsoft 365. I've been using security and then provide a group name and some you know other information here. And then when it comes to members, here is the place where you add whatever are your Windows devices. Anyway, this is pretty much done. Not too complicated to be honest. Okay, this is done. This is done. Okay, now before I create the onboarding policy, let me just double check my Windows 10 26 is not yet onboarded on my MD. If I go to my now to security.microsoft.com and then here on the left on devices, now I can present all the devices I have already onboarded on my um, on my tenant. As you can see, Windows 10 24 is here, 25. Um, then I have a couple of servers as well. But the most important for now for this demo, as you can see, Windows 10 26 is not here yet. Okay, never done. I, I haven't done any onboarding on that device. Okay, now finally, let me show how I can actually build an onboarding script to later add 
my Windows 10 11 Ireland group and then eventually after a few minutes I should be able to see my Windows 10 26 fully onboarded on my tenant. Anyway, let's get started. I need to go back first to my uh, endpoint.microsoft.com. There are a few ways to do from here. Let me take from if I go to devices. These are exactly the steps now I will take in order to create a policy, add a group and then eventually get things sorted. Okay, from here, now I just need to scroll down and then the place to go is over configuration profiles. If I click in there, I should have a few profiles already created, but let me create um, a new one from the scratch for, for me to be able to show all the steps in order to finish you know, this task. Okay, and then from here, let me click on, now, yeah, I have three profiles already created. Now let me just hit the create profile, click in there. The next step, step now, simple but very important, is to make sure you select whatever is the platform you are about to do the profile. In my case, I want to concentrate on Windows 10 and later. Okay, let me select in that. Okay. Now I could go over the settings catalog, but just to buy a bit of time and the quickest way is click on templates. And then from here, now I should be able to now search for Defender. Yeah, exactly. And then there are so many different profiles. I'm focused now on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Select that template and then click on create. Okay, now some, uh, some basic information here for me to provide. The first one is the name. Let me set as a uh, MDE onboarding for Windows 10 and 11. Of course, the name really doesn't matter. Whatever is, you know, the best standard for you. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now let me click on next. And then there is a single, let's say pretty much a single interface here for you to set the configuration. The first one is for you to decide in regards to the sample sharing for, for all files or not. Yeah, this is, you know, the amount of information, the type of files you want to send to Microsoft for deep inspection. Uh, there are, you know, from, from the, the AV policy, we have a better, uh, you know, better configuration from there. For now, I will leave like that. The second option is, uh, you know, if you are onboarding some highly sensitive devices, I could enable this option to increase the frequency when it comes to the communication between the devices in the Microsoft, the, the, the Microsoft, let's say, data centers when it comes to the MD. For if you are not stressed with that, you are just doing the onboarding for what I would call uh, normal devices, I could just leave as not configured, okay? To, I, I don't want to kind of, you know, overkill my one link when it comes to the, the communication. And that's it, okay? I will leave the default, to be honest. Now, let me click on next. Now uh, is the time, uh, kind of simple but important. Here's the time where I can now assign this policy for all the users on my organization, for all devices, or of course, for me to have a better control. Uh, let's say I, I need to onboard on this project 5,000 devices. Probably you want to onboard 5,000 devices at the same time. This is why it's very important to create an um, onboarding group, as I created already, and then eventually you can add those devices into the group in, in a kind of, you know, batches of 50 devices, and then eventually when you are getting, uh, let's say, confident on your setup, you can add 20, sorry, you know, 100, 200, and so on. Okay, right now, let me click on Add Groups. And then, as you can imagine, now let me just retrieve my Windows 10 Ireland group, okay, yeah, where I have my Windows 10 26 into that group already. Okay, is here. Now let me click on select. Uh, let me just double check, yeah, that's fine. And then click on next. Actually, it's not too complicated, uh, to be honest. Now, I could set some rules in here saying, okay, I want to assign this profile only if the devices, the OS edition is Windows 10 Enterprise and, you know, I, I, couldn't, I could get a better, uh, could have, sorry, a better control in here. But anyway, I'm happy to have every single device 
that is member of my Windows 10 11 Ireland group. I want uh, to have those guys on board it. Okay, click on next. And now, yeah, just have a quick, you know, just could have a quick look here to double check the configuration I've done. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then click on create. And believe it or not, that's pretty much are the steps in order for me to have a profile that will do on the background all the kind of you know the heavy lifting when it comes to get now those devices and on board on my defender for endpoint now just to buy a bit of time what i can do is click on devices click in here and then i can select my windows 10 26 and force a synchronization if i click on i want to see now all my devices uh, Windows devices only, sorry. Okay, and then eventually again, I should be able to see my three devices register into Intune, and then from here I can force a synchronization. If I click on Windows 10 26, that's my kind of my target for this uh, demo, and then I should be able to see now here on the top the sync button to force the synchronization. And worst case scenario, you can always wait a few minutes in order, you know, to get all the, the updates done. Okay, if I click on sync and then click on yes. Okay, of course, it's too early now if I go back to my device, if I go back to my security.microsoft.com, even if I refresh here the page of course that's you know too early unless i'm really lucky today uh, usually now it takes based on my experience anything from five minutes to 30 minutes in order to have the devices uh, onboarded here on the system in this case really doesn't matter if you are doing the onboarding via local script grow policy or mem you know exactly what i'm doing here it takes a bit of time in order to have them onboarded but anyway let me just uh, check if it's my lucky day you know talk about one or two minutes um, let's see otherwise i will quickly stop my video and then get a bit of time and then i will check when the configuration when the configuration is done oh my goodness yeah and then as you can see the device is here i think i never seen you know that uh, that fast yeah as you can see the windows 10-26 is yeah believe it or not is registered uh, onboarded sorry that's the right way uh, to say and is active that's excellent news really happy with that if i click in there now of course it's going to take time for microsoft to kind of understand what's happening on this device when it comes to all the patches all the vulnerabilities and things like that now the next process that one is really can take up to 24 hours for us to have all the information populated into the portal of course i should have no incidents and alerts at the moment but when it comes to the security recommendations software inventory discovered vulnerabilities and so on again based on my experience anything from three hours to 24 hours you know that's the time we need to have all the information uh, done uh and okay before i go i could quickly check on my Windows 10 26 if I go back in here and then click in here uh, from from Intune as well we have an option to see if whatever the policy I created is already let's say deployed on my devices and then let me just click on configuration profiles and then that's another way you can monitor if the configuration for AV ASI you know, whatever are the policies you are creating if they have been deployed over your devices or not if i click uh, again you know usually takes a bit of time for the the reports to be fully populated you know fully ready to go but anyway let, let me quickly check the the profile i just created was the md onboarding for windows 10 11 i actually i have two of them here yeah one of them I create on 28th okay today yeah that's that's the the right one let me click in there and then from here now i can get a quick report to see yeah you know as i said usually takes a bit of time for the intune in order to get all the information here if i click on view reports 
Again, it can take maybe 10 minutes, you know, 20 minutes to have this information available. But the most important actually from this demo is to have my device 26 fully onboarded. Okay, yeah, anyway, this is the, the, the place I can uh, check. Uh, let me do something. Let me stop the video for a second until this information is populated and then I will take from there. A few minutes have passed, I just refreshed the page and now I can see the result. This is what I was looking for. I can now confirm this policy has been deployed successfully in one of the devices and here is the device name. Windows 10-26 is my device used by Li Ji that got the onboarding script and then eventually the device got fully onboarded into my MD. Before I finish this video, let me just quickly show from the device point of view how you can check if the device has been onboarded on Defender for Endpoint. If I just dive into my Windows 10, yeah, this is my Windows 10 device. If I go in here, let me just quickly get the registry, uh, reg, uh, sorry, the registry editor. If I click in there, click on yes. Yeah, this is the key you can look for, H key local machine, and then go over software, Microsoft, Windows Advanced Threat Protection, and then in here there are some key information, for example, the onboarded info, and then here there are some information regarding the my tenant, the sense GUID is in here as well, the sense ID and so on. This is an another way from the client side, you can double check if the device, uh, if this device has been onboarded on any MD tenant or not. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show on my onboarding via MEM module. If you enjoyed this video, please give a quick like, subscribe my channel, follow me on LinkedIn and get ready for the next module. Thanks for watching.